I'm Pat Doris. Welcome to the story and welcome to Friday. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here at the story. We sort of pride ourselves in not chasing every little bit of breaking news and instead covering big issues that affect a lot of us in a deep way. But when it's pouring rain like it is right now, and yeah, I know, sorry digital viewers who are watching this later, but really it was coming down when we were live. When it's raining like it is now, we're going to break our rule and bring in our superstar chief meteorologist, Matt Safino. Matt, how much longer is this going to last and what is an atmospheric river? How do they form? Well, first of all, Pat, I don't think you're breaking your rule at all. This is a big issue that is <laughs> impacting all of us in a big way. So I think you're right in your wheelhouse. OK, atmospheric rivers. You've heard us talk about them because we've been talking about them for the last several days because this has been pretty well forecast. So to answer Pat's question, what is it? Well, it's a it's a very concentrated, narrow band of really moisture rich air that forms in the deep tropics. And then this time of the year when we have big thermal differences between the tropical regions, which are always hot and humid, right? And the polar regions, which this time of the year are getting cold. Well, that concentrates things even more. And if the winds are right, it gets funneled into a very, very narrow band. And in this case, this is literally extending thousands of miles. I mean, that's Hawaii. This is west of Hawaii. That's where our rain originated and it's pointed right at the northwest. Now, when it gets here, it's helped when the flow is exactly perpendicular to the mountains as it is today, both the Coast Range and the Cascades. The mountains lift the air and you ring out these incredible rainfall rates that we've been seeing. Now, this is something that has really just been quantified and talked about fairly recently in the meteorological world, only about the last 10, 15 years, and it has been quantified. There's a scale for this. So a four, mostly hazardous, but also beneficial because really there have been studies done on this path that indicate that much of the West Coast rainfall, and I mean California, Oregon, Washington, comes from atmospheric rivers. It's really important in California because these events will produce incredible rain and snow once they get cold enough, and that's their source of water for much of the year. A five, primarily hazardous, and the way they come up with this is duration and intensity. So if it lasts long enough and it's intense enough, it's considered extreme. And this one that we're experiencing today is right kind of borderline four or five. So it is beneficial because we're getting a lot of rain out of it, but it's also on the extreme side from the problems that we've been seeing. Again, your wheelhouse, big issue impacting a lot of people, right? Okay, these are some of the maps that we use. This is somewhat technical, but we're going deep here on the story, right? So this map shows, here's the West Coast for you, just to orient yourself. And this is the atmospheric river. And again, it starts in the deep tropics where there's just lots of very warm water that in turn evaporates into the air, that high humidity air, then gets funneled through narrow bands as you have cooler air to the north pressing down on it. And that's what forms an atmospheric river. And there's something that we call integrated vertical, or sorry, integrated water vapor transport or IVT. We look at the vectors of that, we look at sea level, pressure patterns and that's what goes into forecasting maps that you're more familiar with that I show you all the time like this one what I just showed you that more technical stuff feeds into these weather models that are showing that really high moisture content air over us and the rainfall rates that we've been seeing so again it's something that's here's another look at it too by the way in our model you can see the connection all the way down to the tropics the darker colors indicating that higher IVT or integrated uh, water vapor transport air so it's a matter of flux and intensity and then of course duration and this one has been slow moving so it's been lasting a long time which is why on that scale it's in the four or five category, really an extreme atmospheric river event for us. Here are some of the rainfall amounts. These are old by now. I, I, this is changing so quickly because our rainfall rates are upwards of a half an inch, even an inch an hour. I'll have to update these later on for the evening news later on tonight, Pat. But again, that's what an atmospheric river is. I hope that explained it a bit. That is amazing. And as far as I can tell, between a four and a five means my basement floods a little bit. Uh, is this what we used to call the Pineapple Express? Great question. You know, it's, it's very similar. It's related. But back in the olden days, if you will, when we talked about Pineapple Express, we were looking at the jet stream and we still look at that. And we were looking at how much moisture is being transported up from the north. We weren't really uh, from the south to the north. We weren't really focused on what is 
what we now know as an atmospheric river because really a river, an atmospheric river, is a lower elevation feature. It's around 5,000 to 7,000 feet in the atmosphere, which in meteorological parlance isn't really that high up. So this is narrow and it's more focused and it's lower elevation, but it's carrying all that moisture. How much moisture? I mean, you see the rainfall amounts, but these things, Pat, these are the biggest transporters of water on the planet, more than what the Amazon flows in any given day. So they really are important when they make landfall here on the West Coast, especially down in California, where it's the thing that produces, I think I saw something, it's something like seven 70 or 80 percent of their precipitation comes wow. from ARs or atmospheric rivers. That's amazing. Thank you, Matt. I swear I learn something every time I talk to you. It's great try. stuff. Thank you.